Yeah, take care of business. Tomorrow more? Okay. Yeah, today no. Okay, I'll give you that. Hello, Akon. What uh, what house is this? It's okay, no problem. No problem? Yeah, I saw okay. you, I know it's real life. Okay. Okay, yep. so look. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. Everybody sit down on the bed. What about what about uh, everything? <laughs> boom boom. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Wait, 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 wait. And uh, these ones are. What's your name? According to the government, about 17,000 people are brought in to be slaves in the U.S. every year. There are more slaves in our world today than were extracted from Africa during 400 years of the transatlantic slave trade. You could buy a young male agricultural worker on U.S. soil for an equivalent of today's $40,000. You can buy that same young adult male on U.S. soil today for about $300. And it is poised to become the single most lucrative commercial enterprise in the world very soon. There is slavery within the cotton industry, the chocolate industry, the coffee industry, within so many different industries. There are terrible things that are happening all over the world, and that there are a lot of girls who are stuck in brothels. But people have to get to work in 30 minutes. They have all kinds of other problems they face. It is a criminal act. Some, you know, that a lot of people say it's cultural or something. I say it's criminal. And we all, each and every one of us, has an obligation to stop it. And you can do boom boom? Boom boom is okay? When I first started writing about sex trafficking, I avoided words like slavery because they did seem so judgmental. They seemed just borrowed from a different era. Then I went out and reported in Cambodia and spent an afternoon with two, um, two young girls, one 14-year-old, one 15-year-old, and they were physically locked up in their brothel, and they were gonna stay there until they died. Uh, the next brothel over had burned down, and there'd been two girls who had burned to death in the brothel because they'd been chained inside their brothel. And, you know, if that isn't slavery, than what is. We're not talking here about whether somebody gets a few more cents an hour in a factory or a longer work break or somebody in a brothel gets a condom. There's a very clear international distinction between, say, child work, child labor, and child slavery. We're not talking here about good or bad business practices or working conditions. This is about people being held often at gunpoint, being chained, being electrocuted, being drugged, being thrown out of windows, having them, their families threatened that they'll kill them. We're talking here about slavery. We're talking here about the loss of freedom and the threat of force or the actual use of violence to deprive A people. A workforce for somebody else's economic gain. Um, and that leads into the fact that people in today's slavery market are, have essentially become commodities. That paradigm that we use of, oh, this is all just prostitution and this is basically something that consenting adults do, gets in the way of how we address the issue of uh, you know, children, and especially children who are physically confined. In Bombay, for example, you get 15-year-old girls who are locked up in cages and forced to have sex with customers. Now, uh, the thing that is distinctive there isn't that they're 15-year-old girls that are having sex or commercial sex, it's that these are kids who've been kidnapped and are locked up in cages and don't have any freedom.